My name is Stephen L. Kling Jr. and I'm talking to you from the St. Charles County Heritage Museum in St. Peter's, Missouri. My small publishing company, THGC Publishing, entered into a partnership with St. Charles County to do a museum exhibit on the American Revolutionary War in the West. The idea here was that uh, a few years ago I wrote a book on the Battle of St. Louis and talked to a lot of people that wanted to know more that the Battle of St. Louis didn't happen in a vacuum and that there were actually events that went on up and down the entire Mississippi River throughout the war. So I gathered a group of authors from the U.S. and Spain and we wrote a book on the, called The American Revolutionary War in the West and this exhibit is based on that book. There was a great effort to combine period artifacts, uh, weapons and regalia and other things. Beautiful paintings uh, specially made for the exhibit and the book. We have a number of copies of documents. We received permission from the Archivo in Seville, Spain that people have never published before. And beautiful costumed and uniformed mannequins. I worked real closely with Stephen Kling with a lot of research. We went by uh, photographs, we went by actual paintings and uh, early drawings of the period. From there, I started creating these uniforms. Um, my day generally began as early as 2.30 in the morning, and I would work all the way until about 6.30 at night, and this is what I did for almost three years. Most of them are wool because that was the chief fabric of the time. Um, one in particular, uh, Bernardo Galvez, his uniform took seven months to embroider. Two leaves on that uniform take an hour. Two sets of bars on that uniform takes an hour. So that kind of gives you an idea. Well, it was a great effort to not only talk about the battles, which of course are part of the history, but we really wanted to focus on the people that were involved in it. In the 18th century, St. Louis and St. Charles were really closely connected. People such as Louis Blanchet, a French-Canadian man who founded St. Charles, he was at the Battle of St. Louis. The Midwest and the Mississippi River Valley has broad connections to even the early eras of American history. So often, Missouri basically gets covered from about 1820 to 1821 for the Missouri Compromise. Um, other than that, though, it usually kind of gets passed over. And so when people come through here, we really want them to understand how their community came to be and how this community developed. We want them to also understand the role we had in some of the less comfortable topics of history. So we want people to understand our place in this broad narrative of American history. What we hope people will learn from the exhibit is, uh, one, what happened out here and led to the Louisiana Purchase and other things that helped make our country, but more importantly, to learn about the experiences people went through and that the history was broader. There was a very diverse group of people in many respects more diverse than what was going on in the 13 colonies. And there are important stories to be told, and we do tell a number of those stories. The great part about the museum exhibit, it's free and it's open to the public.